Hello viewers. If you have heard chicken pox ever, one very terrible complication which is unfortunately not treatable is waiting for you. In this video, we are going to discuss herpes zoster, also known as shingles. Every year in the USA, about 1 million cases of shingles are reported. Shingles can occur more than once and may best through some deadly complications. So without wasting more time, let's get deeper into it. Shingles is caused by varicella zoster virus, the same virus that causes varicella commonly known as chickenpox. Varicella zoster virus when enters one's body causes chickenpox. Once chickenpox is cured, the virus does not eliminate it. Instead, it stays in our bodies quietly for years and years or even for decades and enters into the nerves near spinal cord and brain. Later in one's life, this virus may get reactivated and may then cause shingles. Risk Factors Early Life Of course, having chickenpox in early life, it is the main factor because chickenpox provides a gateway to the virus and introduces it into the body. Older Age Older age is a risk factor for shingles as it is for many other diseases. When an individual gets older than 50 years, varicella zoster virus has more tendencies to reactivate. Immune system People with weaker immune system are also more prone to shingle as to many other diseases. Immune system may get weakened due to some underlying medical condition. Age History of organ transplantation because such patients are kept on immunosuppressive drugs. Stress may also lead to weaker immune system and hence virus reactivation. Women as compared with men and whites as compared with blacks are at higher risk. Management of shingles Antiviral medication Antiviral medication is most important to stop the virus from spreading to other unaffected areas. Acyclovir is the most famous and frequently recommended one. Antiviral therapy is highly effective if it started within 72 hours of appearance of symptoms. Antibiotics Antibiotics are prescribed in almost every case of shingle because pus is often produced due to bacterial contamination. Painkillers Painkillers are given against the pain caused by blister and later for PHN management. Habits Drinking excess water, eating healthy food and exercise are highly recommended. Remember, shingles are highly contagious people who had not shingles ever or those who are not vaccinated should avoid physical contact with the patient, especially with their blisters and rash patient should be isolated and the physician must wear a gown and gloves during contact with patient. Fortunately, vaccine against shingle is available which reduces the risk of getting affected although it does not provide 100% protection, which is the case with all other vaccine as well. That's it for now viewers, we hope you enjoyed and learned much about shingles. If you want to know more, please do visit our blog. The link is pinned in the description. Like this video and subscribe the channel.